I've lost count of how many times I've, I've listened to it and just keep turning the volume up, keep turning the volume up, making it louder and louder and louder and louder. I just, <laughs> I want the world to hear this song the way I hear it. <laughs> change yourself, change your world. Deal with your emotions. That's what this song is. What does it mean to go into the deep? It means to go into you. I'm going to go through the lyrics line by line and show you that this is what it all means. Now, there are a few lyrics. There are a few lines that maybe don't have a lot of meaning or I just don't understand the meaning yet. And this is my interpretation. It doesn't have to be yours. I'm just saying that this is what I see and hear in this song. It starts so profound, like right away. It says, I walk down and see what's beyond this corridor. We have to think of life as walking down this corridor, right? We're walking from point A to point B, from birth to death, right? He says, open all the doors, but I can't find the right one to go. We always talk about opportunities in life being the doors and windows, right? That, you know, God closes the door, <laughs> Life opens a window, whatever. However that saying goes, cliche. So we're walking down this corridor. We're opening all the doors and we can't find the right one to go, go into. Why? Because our answers are not in the doors to life. And he goes on. This is exactly where there's a line further down that's exactly what I'm talking about there. Someone called to me from somewhere dark and I'm feeling that something's staring right back at me deep and down below. Now, what is that when someone called to me from somewhere dark? That, that's your inner voice. That's you. That's the real you down inside of you calling to you. That's your call to adventure. The call to adventure is not to go out there. The call to adventure is to go inside, inside you. That's what this song is about. And this is where it goes. Yeah, something staring right back at me. We talk about the demons inside of us. We talk about the monsters inside of us that are staring up at us. And we there's a saying, it's like, you look down into the darkness without blinking. <laughs> and then the say, <laughs> and the darkness blink back. Yeah, whatever. No, <laughs> the darkness will always call to you and always say, hey, this is where the answers are, way down within you. And this is, so it just it goes, it's, it sounds like, it sounds like just a silly, useless line. Pump up the beat and smash the floor. No, it's, it's pump up yourself, smash the floor that's blocking you from your emotions. The doors don't give you your answers. Smash the floor. Now, I think, now, next line is shut down their fuse, release the bait. I think shut down the fuse is your anger. I think, you know, shut down, uh, not so much shut down your anger, but it's like we have all this anger towards the outside world and towards everything that's, that's damaged us, stuff like that. If, but you, you have to, you have to shut down that fuse and you don't turn the anger inward. That doesn't do any good either. So you need to, you need to shut down the fuse and deal with what's <laughs> lit that fuse, right? I think release the bait, I think basically saying it's like you, um, I'm not entirely sure on that, but I feel like it's like that you are the bait and the monster, let the monster come up and grab you basically is kind of what it's saying that we think it's a monster, but it's our salvation is really what it is. Front, back, left, right, ain't cute at all, but take a bite. Not exactly sure, but it's like, when you look all around you, yeah, nothing's pretty, but yeah, I mean, take a bite of life. Maybe that's where it goes. Where, when, who, why, such a cruel world, but you just try. Yeah. Regardless of what's going on in the world around you, regardless of how cruel and awful you think it is, you still have to live. You got to try. And how do you do that? You be your own hero. You be your own hero. You dive deep inside yourself waiting in the line, waiting to burn. Sometimes we bleed, sometimes we learn. To me, that sounds kind of like uh, Man with a Mission, Seven Deadly Sins songs, where they say the pain and the pleasure all come together. There is no reason why. Now, like I said, that seemed to me to be a very Taoist way of thinking. The pain and the pleasure all come together. They all come together in life. Pain and pleasure come together. It's all life. 
it's, it's all together there. Sometimes we bleed, sometimes we learn. Pain and pleasure, that's, that's the same thing to me. Inside your mind, inside you know, right? You gotta pay attention, even just these little bits of lyrics, it's not always the, the whole line that goes together. Sometimes it's just one little bit, right? Inside your mind, inside you know, inside you have the answers. It's not in the corridors of life got to release what's in your soul. You gotta, you gotta, that's, see, that's where he's, I think that's where he's talking about releasing the bait. Release the bait, release what's in your soul, right? Call that, call that monster out. What would you do? Where can we go? Why are we here? Nobody knows. This is true. This is true. There, even, I have my own opinions of, about why we're here on this earth. I am, uh, every spiritual teacher and tarot reader and church, whatever, everybody has their own opinions as to why we're here. Some people say there's no purpose. Some people say there's purpose. So this is what they're saying here is like, they're not, man with a mission is not telling you how to live your life. They're just telling you again, kind of what I'm doing. They're not, they're not giving you a way. They're not giving you a path. They're just saying, Hey, this is the way to start going though. And now on the edge, here we arrive into the deep collapse and dive. Now see, it's not. And then they say fall and dive into the deep. This is, this is significant too, because it's not just falling is like, Oh shit, I'm falling. Right. And it's like, no, this is like, this, this is giving in, right? And falling back and trusting. But then it's also saying taking command. And so diving is then tucking out of that fall and into a dive. And you're willingly, willingly going down and diving down. See, this gets, <laughs> this is what gets me really emotional, this kind of stuff. I listen to the song and I ball my, ball my eyes out over it. I'm trying not to swear as much <laughs> on this channel here. <laughs> So into the course, we're saying fall and dive into the deep, repeat, same dream, running from something, running from something. We're always trying to run from, we're always trying to run from ourselves and we have nowhere to hide. This is why I say too, it's like, you can have the world fixed exactly the way you want. You, the world can be running exactly the way you want. And you might think, oh, it's, it's maybe you think that the world's a dumpster fire, right? I, I hate that phrase. The world is not a dumpster fire. Maybe you think it is. Okay, so you could fix, you could put out that dumpster fire, you could fix it, you can make the world exactly as you want, but you're still you at the end of the day. You cannot run and hide from you. You're running from something, you don't have anywhere to hide. Stop running from yourself, fall and dive into the deep. And I really like that in the flames, I try to gather my ashes to revive. This is the, this is the phoenix rising from the flame rising from the ashes. Phoenix doesn't rise from the flame, uh, rises from the ashes after the burning. So, yeah, so it's, and that's the thing that, well, I guess I just answered. Yeah. In the flames, I try to gather my ashes to revive. You got to wait for the burning to stop before you can gather your ashes and rise like the Phoenix. This one, I'm not sure. Here comes the line and here's some more. That could be just a cool line that fits. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what line they're talking about there necessarily. Like I said, not every, not every single word, not every single line means something, but a lot of them mean a lot. <laughs> I love this one. Shut down the lights, turn off the lights. The dark's your mate. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Shut down the lights. The dark's your mate. Yes, the dark is your friend deep down within you, deep down in the emotions. Uh, and then they do a repeat here, where, when, how, why, such a cruel world. Okay, they're admitting, you know, the world can be cruel. It can be absolutely phenomenal and beautiful. It can be cruel. Yin and yang. Uh, such a cruel world, but you just try. And they're not saying, but you just try. They're saying, but you just try. Just try. Just try to live your best life. And you will. 
You will deal with those emotions, go down deep within you, fall and dive into the deep, fall and ride into the deep. Take a good look down below and hop right into, yeah. Take a good look and just hop in, right? I, <laughs> I made a little Instagram post and I, I, I love Frozen 2 and I love that image of Elsa diving further and deeper down all the time. Like that's the important thing. And the one thing, she just arrives at this deep hole. She can't see the bottom, can't see anything. And she just jumps off the edge, fall and dive. And then they kind of repeat the corridor thing. I walk down and see what's beyond this corridor, open all the doors, but I can't find the right one to go. In these flames, I try to gather my ashes to revive the phoenix again. Now this line is the one that just blew my mind. Not outside, but deep, not outside, not outside, but deep down below one more time I dive. Sometimes you gotta go more than once. You have to keep diving in. You have to keep diving in. I have to keep telling myself this all the time. Got to keep diving in. Got to keep trying. Got to keep doing what's right to make your life better. And that's always dealing with what you're feeling all the time. And then it's just a repeat. Fall and dive into the deep. Fall and ride into the deep. And oh my God, this song just blows my mind. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's making me cry on camera. I don't care. <laughs> I wish I could express to you, I wish I could share my feelings with you. I wish you could feel what I feel. When I see these movies I talk about, when I hear music like this, when I read lyrics like this, I can see it, I can feel it. I know, I know how to fix this world. <laughs> I know, I know how to fix this world, but there's nothing out there I can do to fix it. It's all in here. I fix this, I fix that. The outer world is a reflection of the inner world. Fall and dive into your deep and you'll change your world. And say, God has blessings upon you. I always say this, why do I say God has blessings upon you? Because she's in the dark. That's where she is. And when you meet her, when you know her, when you feel your emotions, you feel her, she will bless you. That's how I feel about that. You have all the weapons and knowledge you need within you. They're all there. And that's what Man with a Mission is saying. These guys are goddamn amazing. They're enlightened. I feel so good about the future of humanity with people like that rising up. The generations to come, ha. Yeah. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Human race will rise. We all have to come together. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs>